Christmas. Hey guys. All right. So <clears throat> I'm trying to do videos in between things today. So these are going to be some short, short little videos. This one is going to be on parsnips. I don't think I'm going to combine it. No, never mind. I will do it on parsnips and peas because it's really short. I'm baking on the stove. I have to cook some pork steaks so Chloe has something to eat later. My coffee. I literally just made my breakfast. It's almost 1240. It's been one of those mornings. All right, so I'm going to just get right into this. All right, so parsnips. Plant parsnips in early spring at about the same time as peas and radishes. Like carrots, they require a deeply tilled, well-prepared soil, right smooth of rocks and clods. They thrive in a soil rich in potassium and phosphorus, so work in a dusting of wood ashes. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. See, I'm learning as I go, guys. All right. Seeds germinate slowly up to three weeks, even in the best garden conditions. Even in the best garden conditions. Some gardeners soak them overnight or treat the seeds with boiling water before planting. You can start seeds indoors between most moist paper towels. Pre-sprouted seeds have a better chance of survival. Plant parsnips in conical holes drive a crowbar into the soil two feet deep and rotate in a circle until the hole is six inches across fill the hole with sand peat moss and sifted soil leaving a slight depression at the top of the hole place two or three sprouted seeds in the depression then cover the with a quart with a half inch of sifted sphagnum moss and water space the holes eight inches apart each way in a bed Keep, keep beds evenly moist but not saturated. Then to one strong plant when the plant has three or four leaves. Parsnips grow slowly and mulching with straw is the best way to pamper them. If they receive inadequate moisture during the summer, they'll be tough and likely to split and rot with the fall rains. During dry spells, water the bed deeply once a week. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a minute and I will be right back because i got to check our bacon. Okay, I had to flip the bacon. All right, so on to peas. Actually, I have the Baker's Creek parsnip seeds, which I'm going to get to my seed videos, guys, I promise. I might actually make that what I do tomorrow, my seed videos. I've been, my days off, I've been working on graphing our garden beds, and that's taken up quite a bit of time because I'm taking it right off from the chart that I drew. Plus, I'm going to be adding some more to it. It, it. It's a lot. We're not probably not going to plant all of this in one year. We're going to work our way up. Because I also don't want to use all of our seeds. And I don't want to do that. So I don't have the money to order a whole bunch more, for one. When we get the investment money, I'm going to be ordering a bunch more seeds. So we have newer, newer ones. Plus, we're going to be saving seeds. I'm going to plant a, quite a bit of extra stuff. I'm going to have several garden beds where what I'm planting, I'm going to let go to seed. And then I'll just feed the crops to the animals or compost them. So, <clears throat> But the parsnip seeds that I have through Baker's Creek, they actually they grew really well. I didn't plant very many, but I did get a... I got a about a pint because I got a couple of little half pint jars and I uh pickled the I pickled them so and I think this time around I'll go with the ferments so I'm gonna have to start ordering that salt because it's gonna take a lot and I have none so but right now we're trying to work on getting more income coming in money is a big issue right now but God will provide. He has been up to this point, and he will continue to do that. So, All right, on to peas. For an extended pea season, plant early, mid-season, and late varieties at the same time, as soon as the soil can be worked. These are cool-weather plants that can withstand many freezes. 
In warm climates, plant peas in wide rows using a dwarf variety. Snow peas also do well in wide rows without fencing. Because peas are legumes, they don't need much fertilizer, especially nitrogen. If you do fertilize, mix 5-10-10 fertilizer in the, in the soil a day or two before planting. And I did find out from Andrew what that is. It's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And it's, it's, <clears throat> it's not organic, but it's how they mix the fertilizer. Because I asked him. I don't even know where I wrote it down at. I wrote it down in the book somewhere. Oh, right here. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That's what it is. <clears throat> so. And he said you can use it. Um, he said even though it's not organic. He said if, if you don't, you know, like use a ton of it, it's not going to be a problem. So. Treat the seeds with an with an inoculant unless they come pre-treated and sow them in 16 inch wide rows tamp them down and cover them with soil or simply rototill them in a few inches i've never had problems with peas growing my square foot garden did really well we got quite a lot of peas out of that and i i showed you guys some of that i had two years two good years of uh peas growing really well in the square foot garden and on my uh garden haul video in 2022 you can see uh the peas that we got so and that wasn't all of them that was you know just like pretty much the last that we got but peas quickly screen out the sun from hitting weeds so you never have to weed a good wide row of peas the shade also keeps the soil moist and cool peas don't need much staking you can prop them with piles of hay or plant dwarf varieties that grow only to 15 to 18 inches you can also stick twigs into the soil so peas can grow on them or use chicken wire fencing stretched on metal fence posts you do want to try to fence your peas because if they can grow up you'll get a lot more out of them Harvest any time after pods form. You can pick shell peas as soon as the pod is full. Waiting until it begins to bulge is not necessary. All right, so that was it for the peas. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this one up there. And I will see you guys in a few minutes on the next video. I'm going to try to get a few more, a few videos out before I have to go to work today. I work 3 to 11 today, so and I do have tomorrow off, so I'm going to be probably working on the seed videos tomorrow, and I'm going to try really hard to make sure they get uploaded, so I will see you guys in the next video. See you in a few minutes. Bye, guys.